Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today is my last day here in Manila and I'm all set. Uh, papunta na ako sa airport. But before I do that, I'm gonna give you a room tour of the Airbnb where I stayed for three weeks here in BGC. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start here at the entrance. So yan yung door. There's a little bit of design as you get in. As you turn to the right, so nandito yung washroom. Okay, so meron siyang sink, toilet, the good thing here, they have bidet, course mirror, and then the shower. So, malakas naman yung pressure ng shower. And then, there was a provided na mop here. So, every time na mag magbasa, madali lang kami mag-clean up. And we were provided two towels as we checked in. By the way, I'm just doing the room tour now when we're about to check out. Kasi when I arrived, I was just so tired to do a room tour. And after that, so... Ginamit na namin. And it was occupied already, so it's hard na to do room tour. So now it's empty and we clean it up in such a way that it's in the same state as when we checked in. And then as you get in, so merong parang console table dito sa kaliwa. So ang cute nga nitong salakot uh, design. Ang design ng uh, Airbnb na to is boho style. So as you can see, may mga boho designs on the wall. May mga fabric siya na boho design din. Okay, then let's check the kitchen muna. Ang maganda sa condo na to, so meron siyang kitchen. Okay, so ayan, ayan yung mga luggage ko nakaready na. So there's a small fridge, uh, very useful yan. And then uh, meron siyang induction na uh, lutuan. And then we have microwave. We have kettle here. We use this every day for coffee. And then we have a good sink here. Maganda rin yung pressure ng water. So, yung dishwashing, liquid was provided. Merong sponge. And then, uh, good thing, merong ganito na taguan ng mga nahugasan ng ginagamit ng mga cutleries and plates. Another good thing here is may mga provided na mga pans and cups and mugs. At ang kikit pa nga ng mga ano, lutoan nila ako. And there's, there's also rice cooker, of course. Yeah, rice cooker. We've been cooking every day here. So, malaking tipid din, like breakfast and dinner. Meron din siyang toaster. Hindi na namin ginamit yan. So, malaking bagay na kapag yung Airbnb mo, may kitchen. So, nakakapagluto ka. Like, what we did, luluto kami. Kumakain kami dito ng breakfast. Kung lalabas kami ng lunch, so maglalunch na lang kami sa labas. Kung maaga kami nakakabalik, so we could eat, uh, prepare some dinner also here. Or sometimes, pwede kaming mag-uwi ng ulam. Tapos magluluto na lang ng rice. Okay, now moving on. Another good part here is, there is washing machine. So meron siyang... 6 kilograms na washing machine here. So this is one of the features that I've been looking for when I was looking for Airbnb kasi of course I'll be staying for 3 weeks. It's really convenient na nakakapaglaba ka dito rather than dinadala mo pa yung uh, maduming mong damit sa may laundry. ba hassle pa yon, mabigat. And baka hindi mo pa makuha the same day. So uh, waste of time. So it's really good na yung Airbnb is merong laundry option. Okay, and then merong a uh, good size dining table here. We've been eating in here. Sometimes I've been working in here as well. Meron ding a uh, good size TV. I believe this TV is around maybe 49, 50 inches. So we've been watching YouTube in here. Now if you check on the other side. So this is the living room, living space. No, merong sofa. So, merong center table. Yeah, please excuse some of the other stuff na kasi mga ibang gamit namin. So, itong sofa na to is extendable. It can be made as a bed. That's another sleeping bed if you want to use it. Kaya binigyan din kami ng spare na comforter. And also, here, if you look at the bed, uh, this is a queen-size bed. It's quite comfortable in fairness. When I looked at it at Airbnb, I thought it's not that comfortable. But I really had a good sleep in this bed. Maganda rin yung pillows. Very comfortable then yung comforter, especially pag medyo malamig sa gabi because there is aircon. There is also a provided mirror in here, which is nice, a full-body mirror. And then here on the right side, so this is a working area. Meron kang desk and chair where you can work. Although the light seems not working at the moment, but it's okay. I wasn't using that. So it's either I'm working here or I'm working on the dining table. Also, in addition, there is electric fan. Kung medyo kulang yung aircon. So you can turn on the fan, you know, for additional circulation of air. And then another good thing here, there's a big uh, cabinet in here. So I've used this a lot. Buksan natin. Okay, so there was also provided uh, 
plancha hair dryer. So these are extra beddings that was given to us. And then meron ding kabayo, isang mali maliit, tsaka isang medyo mas malaking kabayo. Uh, here, I hang my clothes in here. Everything that I use going out. So hangers are provided. And then marami ring drawers where you can put your stuff. So it's very comfortable. It's like living in your own space. So Bali, this space can accommodate maximum of six people, no? Uh, but the maximum that stayed with me is four people. All of us, four people. Two in this bed. And then we just uh, extended this and two. Actually, there's an extra ano kuchon or yung cut bed dito sa ilalim na pwede mong ipull out lang. So if you want, pwede mong ilatag dito kung gusto mong magad pa ng more. Okay, another good feature that I really love with this Airbnb space is that okay, if we open this, meron kang balcony. So right now it's 5:30 in the morning, kaya medyo madilim pa. So here, merong sitting dito. You can drink your coffee in the morning. Although medyo mainit nga lang. So ito yung veranda. So these are your neighbors. So ang view ng condo na to is the playground. At sya kayo, merong gazebo dito. So itong Venice Luxury Residences, meron siyang pool. Pero hindi ko pa nakita. I think the pool is, if I'm not mistaken, nasa kabila dito. And by the way, yung area na yan, that is already the Venice Grand Canal Mall. So, sobrang walking distance lang siya. Actually, merong access to the mall through the parking lot. So, lalabas ka lang sa may uh, ground floor nitong building na to. Then, may access na to the parking lot. And there's a shortcut to the mall. And then, itong dark corner na to. Yeah, maingay yung aircon because it's currently running right now. We've used this a lot also because we've been washing our clothes. So, dito yung sampayan. So the good thing here is kahit na umuulan, hindi siya nababasa. Although in my three weeks of stay here, hindi naman umulan masyado. And then may mga provided na mga timba, uh, mga panglinis na items. No? May walis, may mga mop, may mga dustpan. Ayan, may walis tambo pa. Okay, so I think for people who are smoking, you would definitely love this veranda para you don't have to go down anymore to smoke. Yeah, so I really love this space. Hindi ako nagkamali ng pagbook sa Airbnb na to. I really love this uh, space, ano? but the best thing of all that I love about this is that I have booked this only for 45 Canadian dollars per day. So I stayed here for 17 days. So sobrang cheap siya for the quality and for the value that we got from this space. Kasi nung nagkahanap ako, commonly ang presyo ng Airbnb is around 75, 70. Meron yung mga mas maganda pa, around 100, but then for me, this was the best option because it has everything that I needed and maganda rin yung design and actually it was better than my expectation. As for the host, I don't have any complaint naman although sometimes sa mga messaging hindi nakakasagot agad but I think it's understandable kasi uh, I know that she's handling multiple units here in the Venice uh, and I don't know, baka meron pa mga ibang units. But the good thing is I have her cell phone number, I can call her when I need to. I can message it through Airbnb, I can text her and whatnot. And so far, she's been uh, responsive naman, although sometimes may waiting lang, but it's okay. I don't have any complaint. Okay, so there you go. That's a tour to the Airbnb space that I've checked in in my three weeks of stay here in Manila. So if you want to book on this space, you just check Airbnb. I could share the link in the description box below. Just please check it out. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you again in the next vlog. Bye!